<laughs> All right, good morning. We're starting the first climb of the day. I don't know what day it is. 30th, Saturday. Saturday the 30th. <laughs> Whew, difficult way. We have a 19 mile water carry, which will be heavy, hot, and we'll be thirsty. All right, we're over 9,600 feet. And you, you might have guessed it's very pretty. <laughs> Highest point of the day. And I'm glad this is the highest point of the day. Looks like the trail goes up along that ridge. Should be in for a nice ridge walk today. These different views, like that valley down there now. It's yeah, like, it's really pretty. It does look a little and smoky. It, yeah. Yeah, I thought I could smell smoke already. Yeah. I can't smell it, but I definitely can see it in the air. Uh, I'm having a lovely hike. It's very hot. And unfortunately being very hot, I think I mentioned earlier it was a super long water carry. Like darn near 20 miles. So I'm trying to ration. I got about 10 miles left. I still have two liters, a little bit more. Which in my brain always seems good until I get to like really hard climbs and stuff. And then it doesn't feel so good. And I've been going in and out of Montana and Idaho all day. But I'm still just considering this the Idaho section. Um, went through a big burn area. I don't know if I'll get any views. Maybe when I get up to the pass at the end of the day, I'll get something. We'll see. I will continue hiking and try not to shrivel up like a raisin. Just ate lunch at eight miles to our uh, next water source and campsite where allegedly there is a pit toilet and a picnic table. Very fancy, very classy, very modern. So I'm excited to get there. Trail mom and bear chief are ahead of me. I'm kind of taking it slow today. My, uh, after a few really good days on my knee and my left hip, uh, today's been pretty sore. So the trail's nice. I'm just gonna take it easy and get there. Got a pretty tough day tomorrow, and then after that, we'll have a short day into town. Woohoo! I am really enjoying this section of trail. Oh, it's so beautiful. No rocks level. I'm literally, I think I'm just, I'm on the border of Montana and Idaho and I'm just in Idaho right now. I think we creep back into Montana, which I'll, I'll be doing this whole time, going to uh, Yellowstone and then Wyoming or, and Wyoming. But this trail, uh, money, feels amazing on my feet and it's lifting my spirits. It also might be the sunshine and the dry air and the lack of mosquitoes. A lot of factors that are making today excellent. 
this little area I'm in, these trees, oh, it's very exposed, very dry, very arid. Reminds me of um, hiking in Arizona up in Prescott. If you plot me in here, I wouldn't know the difference. The best thing about this dry section, no skeeters. Totally worth, worth thirst. Well, I say that now. Thirst can kill, mosquitoes can't, typically. These hills and mountains are so pretty. The smoke is back, I can smell it. Although I think the wind is in our favor. It's not too bad, but my nose is running again. Yesterday my throat was burning a bit. But hopefully, oh, oh, some trees moved out of the way. That's nice. Hopefully it clears up. It seems like every afternoon it gets bad. Such a pretty hike today. So pretty. All right, three miles to camp. I'll be camping by the Sacagawea Monument. How exciting. Maybe I was incorrect about the wind being in my favor because it's smoky. Yeah, about another mile to go. I guess I'm walking across the Lightning Pass, which has some kind of historical importance that I didn't stop to research because I'm hungry. So I'm keep on walking. And I'll look it up in the future. Whoa, it's tripped. Focus on the trail. Look at that smoke, yeah. Thick back there. So close. I think I'm less than half a mile. I'm ready. I'm ready to rest.